The following program contains language, images, and or subject matter that may be objectionable to some viewers. Viewer discretion is advised. Direct from Albany, New York, it's time for The Media Zone! With your hosts, Ed and Dave! Tonight, a look at this week's new film and DVD releases. And the chance to win free movie tickets with the Poster Pairs game. And now your hosts, Ed and Dave! Hello! Welcome to the zone, Ed and Dave here. Ed and Dave with you. Now, do we look like our... From this far shot that our audio is not with our mouths. <laughs> on the rare occasion on, <laughs> on the Albany show, it looks to me like our mouths are not in sync. And here it doesn't look like it. So I don't know if we're doing it or they're doing it. There's a delay. That's crazy, Ed. <laughs> Just on this monitor there's a delay? Okay. Really? I can't Ed? look at that then. Huh. It's throwing me off. I can't see it. I'll look at the folks right out there. You write in and tell us if uh, our voices are out of sync in your market. <laughs> uh, tonight we'll be taking a look at Life, the Power Rangers, and Chips. Kind of like the C-grade uh, films. C-grade? That's C-grade. That's not even B. Oh, that's bad. Uh, well, let's finally go over our Oscar, how we did with the Oscars. That's well over. When was that? Uh, last that was year. February, wasn't it? It was. I think just at the end of February for Sweeps Month. But the, what, what does it matter? Well, when are we doing that? When we do it. Uh, later? Later on. After we do film. the films? After the films. Shall we jump right into the films? Let's jump right into Let's the Let's jump films. right into the films. Who's doing the first film? Uh, I'll do this one. It's Life. All right, Ed. You tell me what film this looks like as I read it. Um, <laughs> do I even have to go into it? I don't know. Every space film ever made? Rebecca Ferguson. Jake... Hall and Ryan Reynolds. Now that's that's uh, that's Deadpool. Deadpool. Wife tells the story of the six-member crew of the International Space Station that is on the cutting edge of one of the most important discoveries in human history: the first evidence of extraterrestrial life on Mars. As the crew begins to conduct research, their methods end up having unintended consequences. And the life form proves more intelligent than anyone ever expected. Oh, alien. <laughs> it looks an awful lot like alien here. I guess they figure, even with all the sequels, that was 1980 or 79. 79, yeah. So we, we've forgotten the plot of Alien by uh, now. I haven't. <laughs> because I'm older. This is geared towards the younger crew who maybe haven't seen the original Alien, alien which, by the way, I highly recommend seeing. Right. Still holds up well. Great movie. And Except the, for the crack at the end of the end of that. That's still that's well, a, that's the scariest part of the movie. Well, the the panties didn't yes. hold up. No. Everything else held well, up. There was nothing there to hold up the panties. <laughs> that's the problem. Now uh, this looks a lot like Alien in the new Alien film that's coming out this year. <laughs> looks a lot like the original Alien. Is the new Alien a remake of the original Alien, or is it a sequel or prequel or a Promethe Prometheus sequel? I don't know if it's tied into that Prometheus. I don't know where it fits in. I'm thinking it's a sequel to that Prometheus, though, even though it's called Alien Covenant, I believe. Now, I saw Prometheus. Yeah. I don't remember anything about Prometheus because it was awful. Prometheus was the film where I said, I'm never going to see a film in 3D again. <laughs> <laughs> because it was very dark. You can't see a dark film in 3D. And I, half the time when I, we come back on, I was lifting the glasses up and down. Does this look better in 3D, or would it look better where I can see the colors? This is what I did throughout the entire length of, uh, of Prometheus. Huh. <laughs> colors, the 3D, the colors. It's very dark. I don't see any 3D. I'd rather see the colors. 
Even uh, the last, uh, I like to see the cartoons in 3D because they throw things out at you, the little minions. Right. But even then, they're not as bright yellow with the gray glasses on. So even though the producers suggested, and it's over now, that we see Kong in 3D, right. I'm opting for the RPX theater without the 3D. Okay. The producer loves the... More money, though. Which did you see in 3D that you love so well? Jurassic Park. <laughs> Oh, the new Jurassic Park. That was mostly lights, so that would have been all right. I think the Kong looks pretty bright, too, but it looks like there's a lot of mono colors here, a lot of browns. So I'm, I'm saying we see it with uh, as much color as we can muster okay. out of there, or we did a few weeks ago. Right. <laughs> I go with you, because okay. I don't see films very often. If, if it's filmed in 3D and they're throwing things out at the audience like that piranha, then I uh, see 3D. But right. other than that, no. Okay. Okay, you're doing this one, Dave. Power Rangers? Yes. Don't. Power, power, power Rangers. Starring Elizabeth Banks, Brian Cranston, and Becky G. Mm -hmm. A modern reinvention of the mighty Morphin Power Rangers. And we all know what they do when they modernize films these days. <laughs> A group of ordinary high school kids who find themselves infused with extraterrestrial powers and must harness those powers as a team to save the world. Perhaps they were dumped into a toxic camp. <laughs> Rated PG-13 for sequences of sci-fi violence, action and destruction language, and some crude humor. Pow, 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 Power Rangers! Now I was wondering what Brian Cranston was doing in here. What is he doing it? What he's doing apparently is hiding behind this digital screen here. Oh, is that what he's doing? And that's top billing? <laughs> Apparently he was in the original TV oh, show in some second. porn. I don't know if he, he was the villain or he did a voice, but somehow he was tied in that brought him back into this one. Have we seen Elizabeth Banks yet? She must be a mother or is she the villain? There's a female villain in here. Drink your milk, kids. <laughs> <laughs> She's blonde, right? Well, most of the time, but you know how that goes. I have a feeling she's the villain here and without blonde hair. We'll see her in a moment. You were born for this. You think no, that? That could be, I suppose. I don't know. Doing something different, the villain part for Elizabeth? Yeah, that's her. Yeah. <laughs> what else was she in? Anything? Hunger Games. Hunger Games. And... Uh, uh, other movies. That guy looks like Zac Efron. <laughs> Speaking of Zac Efron, I saw that uh, it was on demand. The Dirty Grandpa in the unrated version they had on there. Very raunchy. I know somebody at work that took their teenage daughter. Uh oh. Because she liked Zac Efron. Oh. And there's, there's such cussing and their backside of Zac Efron. Oh no. I don't know how much, they, there was nine extra minutes in the unrated version, which wasn't in the theater, but I can only imagine. Yeah. Yeah, Robert De Niro pleasuring himself. No! The film. Well, I think the shot they stuck in of the porno movie was probably the, in the unrated version, but even in the R-rated version, you don't want to see Robert De Niro hand moving there was things uh, blocking it he was sitting in a chair <laughs> but en enough was enough so winky. Winky. What? Uh, yeah there was a prosthetic winky but I, that may have been the unrated version oh yeah yeah that wasn't actually robert de niro's winky but i'm sure it was implied as uh, oh dear poor robert de niro i don't want to see it uh, let's see what's next here. Oh, the chips thing. Chip said. Just talking about that, where we didn't see them pull their guns. No. Let's see. I was going to put a little eye in there, but apparently they didn't bother. <laughs> so oh, I didn't either. Yeah, okay. California Highway Patrol, and they threw the eye in, remember, in the yes, credit. Yes. No, they didn't do it here, so I didn't either. Uh, starring Michael Pena. Dak Shepard and Adam Brody. Where have I seen that Michael Pena before? I don't know. Where the Office or somewhere? I know I've seen him somewhere before. This big screen adaptation of the famous TV series from the 70s and 80s stars Dak Shepard and Michael Pena as a pair of California Highway Patrol officers. Rated R for crude sexual content, graphic nudity, 
pervasive language, some violence, and drug use. Oh, that's just, that's just wrong. Nobody that that's, saw that's his wife. Who is that? It's not in my read here. No, mm -hmm. that's not Chenoweth. No, she's a little munchkin there. All right. I can't think of her name. Nobody that saw the original Chips is going to be going to this film. No. A lot of them are just... <laughs> Deceased now. I, I wonder if they threw the, any of the original guys in here even. Is Robert Pine in there? Now what is Dak Shepard then in? I don't know that name. Um, I have no idea what he's... Um, the one where they were in a... What was it Employee of the Month with uh, Jessica Simpson? Oh, okay. That's, that's about his, basically all I know him that's from. That's his claim to fame. Do, 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 do. <laughs> Probably. I gotta look that guy up. I know he's been on something else I've seen. He wasn't an Ant Man. Is that where I'm thinking? I think he may have been an wow. Ant Man. A, there seems to be a lot of no. penile humor in this uh, in this film. Nothing funnier than penis humor, Dave. <laughs> <laughs> oh, there's an eye. It's just not a little eye. I just didn't dot the eye. Stupid show. Did anybody ever watch Chips? I saw it. Did you? Yeah, not a lot of it, but I've seen a few that episodes. That was NBC. That was a channel I didn't watch in the 80s because it had hair <laughs> bad uh, quality. <laughs> it wasn't as bright as CBS. ABC was a little underwhelming. <laughs> it wasn't as bright. CBS had those bright uh, sitcoms. <laughs> vividly lit. You mean the Peacock didn't bring it to you in bright oh, colors? No. no. All right, DVDs. Uh, DVD releases, and then do we have deaths? To deaths go we should do, and then Oscar picks. We can get all that in. All right. We don't have any phone calls this week. Assassin's Creed with <laughs> Michael Fassbender. Now he's got a large member, right? Speaking of members, I don't know. How would I know? <laughs> I'm trying to think if he was in a film where it was shown. Wasn't he? Who was in that? Um, oh, I can't think of the name of it now. We'll have to look that up on Mr. Man, the Mr. <laughs> the Mr. Man I prefer site. to look at the Feet Wikipedia, Feet <laughs> Porn site. Or Wiki whatever. Feet. Wiki Feet. Did you see that Mr. Skin put out his Anatomy Awards? No. I, the, I think they were free to view. They might oh. still be up there. Lifeboat. This is from, I think, 44-ish? That's around there. This is one you don't see a lot where the entire film takes place. Uh, on a life, lifeboat in front of a green screen or a projection screen at that time. Pretty much, yeah. yeah. It's got some good actors in it. William Bendix, Walter Slezak, yeah, like John Hodiak. Yeah. Take a look at that. Hume Cronin. Also a fine actor. House. Two stories. What is this? <laughs> this is House and House 2, oh, which no one remembers. House yeah. was pretty the good. The first one was good. It was kind of a comedy. Yes, with William Katz, yep. and there was bodies or things he was trying to hide and hijinks. W was Richard Maul in either one of those? Richard Maul was the big uh, Vietnam, Vietnam uh, veteran ghost. Okay. Running around. Oh, that was a good movie. Being there with Peter, Peter Sellers. Sellers. Chance the Gardener. This is I like to watch TV. <laughs> This is the Criterion Edition, for those of you that like a lot of commentary and extras with your being there. Oh, this was around 1980. Yeah, that was it for Peter. And I think it was this was his great film, and then... Dead. Uh, no, there was that... <laughs> the Kung Fu one, or the, the one Fu where he Man played Fu Chu. Manchu. Was it Murder yes. by Death? No, it was no. Fu Manchu. Oh, the fiendish plot of Fu Manchu. That's it. That's that was, it. unfortunately... That was, his, that was his swan song. <laughs> he couldn't go out with... Being no. there, he had to throw in the mm -hmm. awful match hole. Mm -hmm. This is a collection of John Waters films, a cellu <laughs> celluloid atrocity. <laughs> uh, um, or is it only one film? It's one film, but it stars Divine, the 300-pound transsexual, was it? No, no, just That's transvestite. Right. Transvestite at and, the time. And my favorite actor slash actress, Mink Stoll. Mink Stoll. This is all his cast he uses all the time. Right there now. you go. Why don't we take a look while the desks are being lined up? Okay. 
how we did on the Oscar ballot. Do you have your ballot? I have it. It's not like anything because I didn't really base it on any. Now let's start with the supporting uh, actress. Where I picked Nicole Kidman. I picked I Octavia of, Spencer. Uh, we were both wrong because it was... I was closer. <laughs> you were closer, Viola Davis. Right. And then the supporting actor I got right was Moonlight. Supporting was, actor? Yeah, I put Maharaja Ali. Mm -hmm. So we got that right, okay. And I didn't know until after he won that there were some gay themes in Moonlight. Okay. Not that there's anything wrong with that, but we weren't told that. Um, that would have... <laughs> Any gay themes in a film is usually an Oscar vote right away. Oh, is it? Yes, I, I would have picked that. that immediately. Actress, we got right, Emma, Emma, Stone. Emma Stone. We knew that. Uh, I picked Ryan Gosling. I shouldn't have because uh, you know he does subpar work. <laughs> <laughs> but I thought maybe La La Land would get a sweep. Oh, there. I picked Viggo Mortensen because he's a fine <laughs> actor. And has a huge member. Speaking what? Of uh, what know? is it with you and, <laughs> and knowing the size of members of actors? Well, you saw Captain Fantastic, didn't you? No. You I, did? <laughs> well, apparently his member is in that. I'm not sure the size, but I do know it was in there. <laughs> was uh, it must be sizable mm -hmm. because what actor would show a tiny member? Well, uh, Richard Gere did in that oh. uh, Breathless movie. Uh, so what do we pick there? I picked Ryan Gosling and it was Casey Affleck. Casey Affleck. We didn't think he was going to get it because of that scandal. Which I didn't know about until a couple weeks before the uh, awards. The director, we were okay with La La Land. No, you picked... I picked Mel Gibson. Nope, it wasn't to be for Mel. Okay. And nothing for Mel. Did anything win from that? Uh, Maybe I some... Uh, I didn't watch it. I think there was a lot of sound uh, that won for. All right. And then I picked La La Land, and I was right for about three minutes. Right. What did you pick? I picked Manchester by the Sea. Well, no, it was Moonlight, and I know you didn't watch the Oscars. No, but I saw the clip of that. You saw the clip, of course. And it is quite... Uh, I, I was amused by it because I really felt that Warren Beatty <laughs> looked like a deer in the headlights. Like, he didn't mm. know what to do, so he kind of looked at it and went, I hear you read it. And just had that goofy, lost look. Instead of saying, mm -hmm. this says Best Actress, which is what he should have said. I think. Okay. Well, uh, you're, you're, it's the hot studio lights right. sizzling. Your little body is, is driving you crazy. But you're an actor. You're used to it. You think on your feet. Let's go, Warren. Come on. I we, know you're We might old. have to give him more credit than uh, we're thinking. We think just he's an old guy and lost in the headlight. But apparently Faye and he were fighting all day. So I think he saw there was a problem. <laughs> there was an opportunity <laughs> to just, just make her seem like a fool. They were fighting over who was going to read the name of the, the movie. So he saw there was a problem. Oh, let her deal with it. <laughs> <laughs> That's what he did. I wasn't aware that there was some uh, fighting. There was some fighting there. So he just said, oh, you want to read it? Go ahead. It was what like he, the he, battling uh, robots there with those two stone faces going at it all day, apparently. Rock em, sock em robots. She uh, had the most work done, I think. I wasn't sure that, that was Faye. Dun they said it was Faye Dunaway. Oh. And Warren Beatty, but I was uh, confused. For those of you who don't recall, co-stars in Bonnie and Clyde back in what, 67? <laughs> it was the 50th anniversary. Maybe we oh, pick hey. an anniversary from 10 years ago where people still have their facilities oh. about them there. Oh. All right, we have, uh, speaking of uh, facilities. Or as most of us call them, faculties, <laughs> but <laughs> we'll go with facilities. <laughs> That's, fu that's funny, you're not even even know it because I thought it was <laughs> faculty or whatever. Uh, oh. I used to watch this show when it first came out. Uh, you, you started off with something like, um, you know, something like you've been sworn in, I have read your complaint, and uh, by the preponderance of the evidence. But, uh, he well, he did get a little tough, but he wasn't as theatrical as that Judge Judy. Oh, Judge Judy is just it. insulting. She oh, insults oh. people and calls them names. Wapner was not a fan of that. He even said that. That's not how you do a courtroom. 97. A long life there. Now, this is somebody that normally wouldn't make a gar list anyway. But it was... Uh, the cinematographer on one of my favorite films, Dave. Yeah. And even though you didn't find it funny. I did not. You do appreciate the look 
of the film than that it looked like a lot of the earlier Universal horror films. Did I say that? No. I don't remember saying that. No, I'm saying that. You're you, saying that I, on my behalf. Yes, you oh. probably appreciated that at least, oh, even no. though you weren't laughing. If that's what you want to believe, okay. It did look, he did a good job making it look like the classic. And apparently he did that by holding something in front of Peter Boyle <laughs> to, to work on the lighting. But he has passed. Nicole Bass, of course, uh, American female, I should have put in. <laughs> bodybuilder. The world's largest female bodybuilder. She built herself as. What happened down there in the Howard Stern show? <laughs> that was her last appearance there, I think, in 2016, where she was going back to do uh, exotic dancing. And she was doing that there for JD. And, and they're uh, all leaning away from her. Leaning you away. don't usually find men leaning away from someone giving them a dance. Yeah, I wasn't sure. The other angle they, that I had was her, because she was very heavy. <laughs> I thought this was the more uh, better. You know, uh -huh. I'm, I'm trying to do better photos. Yeah. <laughs> so this was the better than showing the front of her. In okay. Her, her recent uh, day. And of course, she was a wrestler for a while in the various WWE or whatever it was. Okay. See, on the left there, she kind of looked like a woman. Kind of. Uh, yeah. That changed, though. Al Jarreau. I forgot about Al. You reminded me of Al, who had one hit that I'm aware of. Oh. We're in this love together. Oh, yeah, yeah. We're in this love together. Love we who and Gaston. We can't play it or we get a copyright strike on the. Oh, and good. then he did the theme for Moonlighting. Song oh. one, my nine. Ah. If anybody remembers that uh, series or the song that I just mangled down. Yes. Al Jarreau. He had a good song, one song. Bill Paxton. Bill Paxton was shocking, Dave. It was shocking. First, it took me a moment. Now, Bill Pax, I thought it was Bill Pullman, because I wasn't quite as depressed when I saw the <laughs> name. <laughs> I saw Bill Paxton pass away at 61 ago. Oh, well, he was in a few movies. I wasn't thinking it was Bill Paxton. Pullman, yes. I thought it was Pullman. Very you're, confusing. With you're, these you were wrong. I, Okay, it was Paxton, and that, Paxton. Was, that was more depressing. A fine actor. Yeah, he was, Game over, man! Twister, Twister he was yeah. killed by aliens, predators, and terminators. He was in Hatfield and the McCoys. He was in that big love on uh, playing HBO. He was in a season of uh, Agents of S.H.I.E.L.D. True Lies. Recently. New CBS show. New yep. CBS show. Training now, Day. Now canceled, apparently. But yeah, he's been a prolific actor. Yeah. Uh, that's what happened. I recommend uh, seeing a movie called Frailty that he was in. Yeah, I that believe was he may have directed that. Good. Very Did good. you see that? Yes, I have seen that. It's a horror film of some yeah, sort. It's a, it's a very good movie. Well, that's uh, sad. No. Nope. Did I not put him in? Didn't we do him last time? I don't know. Who cares? Well, I guess not. Okay, we'll work on him next time. Will we? Uh, well, he's dead, so we gave it away. All right, it's game time. We he did get die the at the same in. time as uh, Nicole. We got to get this game in. We, we didn't do get have, one in last yeah, time, folks. I'll get and up we want to give away tickets. Well, I do, because I ain't paying for them. But it's the post of Paris game where you've sent in two numbers from one to six. We reveal what's behind uh, the two numbers you give us. If we select your entry and if they match, you win two free movie passes. If you're right, spin the wheel. If we spin the wheel, you can win up to ten. Yeah, you're going to want to get your tickets in now because in the all-new Media Zone coming next year, We're not gonna there, have a there game. will be no tickets given. Oh, that's right. There may be some sort of trivia game, but no prizes will be given out. Oh. <laughs> the budget ends here <laughs> with the... Uh, but the producer, he was the budget. The producer provides the I budget. I swear, he's got to be worth like a million dollars, don't you think? Apparently, he was up at that casino there. Well, he also does is win at the casino, which is unfair because <laughs> money always goes to money. That's what I find. Have you been to the casino, Dave, or no. any? No. We should all go up there sometime. I don't know what to I'll do. I'll have to in take there. out a loan. Michelle Chrisafulli, <laughs> one and two. One and two. That's an unusual thing. The old next door boy. And she did say spin the wheel, so this could be exciting. Let's see if it works this time. Geez, I forgot the printouts and <laughs> forget it. Don't even bother. we should do. Oh. Oh. What do we got up here? Well, oh, it's a little smaller. Gonna... This is a Captain America. Let's bring that back. All right, there you go. Let's blow the dust off it. <laughs> Where is, is the old up and down <laughs> ploy? 
Oh, oh, don't forget about that. The old up and down ploy. That's Sorry, good. Michelle. Look at this. We got the graduate there. What else is up here? Let's bring some of these back. The f these were classic posters I oh, have. Oh, there you are. That's a good one. Bring that. Yeah. Why should I waste uh, precious ink? <laughs> <laughs> we got these sitting up here. I got the other live and let die one home for a size. We can put that back up. There you go. Now okay. everyone knows our secrets of where we house the items. Right up there. Did we say how the folks can write in yet? We didn't because we you're didn't. too busy going over all the okay. posters from whatever. <laughs> uh, if you want to enter and have a chance to win up to 10 movie passes, send an email to MediaZone95 at gmail.com. That's MediaZone95 at gmail.com. Two numbers from one to six. And if we select your entry and the two numbers you give us have matching posters, you win two tickets. If you write spin the wheel, we bring out the wheel. You have one chance to win up to 10 tickets, two chances for six, two chances for four, six chances you keep the two, five you lose one, two you lose them both. There you go. Huh. There we have it. Wow, we got a couple minutes left. Wow. Did we not cover anything that we should be covering uh, yet? No, why can't we just sign off? I don't understand why we can't sign off early. <laughs> Give the channel and the people who work in the channel a little time to rest before the next uh, show gets put on the air. The religious is, show is whatever. <laughs> And it's Albany. Just, yeah, well, Polka, I think, is before. That's before us. Now, I noticed the, the religious man that's on after us in Albany. Is that the North <laughs> Way thing or something? I, I think it's the no. That's not the North Way. I have to see. It's, I've only seen it a hundred times before I get to re <laughs> reach for the remote, and I don't know who he is. But I do notice that he's going to widescreen oh. on there, which means uh, he's cut off on the sides like we are here. But he's also cut off on the top. So we could go to that route, but until uh, they change the channel. How are we in Schenectady? Do we, are we letterboxed all the way around, or the, how do they do it up there? Top and bottom. Top and bottom, but we, we go to the ends somehow. Yeah. Okay. Isn't that your classic letterbox? That's the classic letterbox, I believe. So okay. we fit in there. So. We don't want to be letterboxed all the way around. You want to be hitting some ends somewhere. Oh. These ends or these ends? I enjoy hitting ends. Hitting the ends. And speaking of hitting the ends and plenty of fish, I oh. noticed there was a, an ad on TV for plenty of fish. No. Was there? Yes. I have wow. never seen that before. All right. I are, think, are you going somewhere with this? Uh, no, I'm oh. just trying to kill a minute. Because you see a lot of our time and... Uh, match and, and, and eHarmony and what else do you see? That's about it. I swear it? they were touting the fact that you could spend the money for your date instead of spending it on the website because this is a free website. It's not free. Ed. It's I free think, to a point. Yeah, I think you'd rather spend a few bucks on the, the, the sites that weeds out a few people. <laughs> <laughs> you know? Well, you're just looking for the fish, Ed. The fish are in there. You're just looking for the fish. You're not sure if you want to hook the fish. Right. You want to see what type of fish are available. And then if you see some nice fish, maybe then you'll pay. You want to see the full length of the fish. You want to see the fish up on a board like that talking fish. You don't want <laughs> right. to see pictures that are cut off like this. No. You got to see everything there is to see there. Oh, okay. We don't want pictures from 10 years ago up there, right? Well, I guess, yeah. Well, you do. Maybe you want to see the scale from 10 years ago up to, up to now. Yeah, you see uh, if we've hit the wall yet or how much <laughs> longer we have to go. <laughs> All right, we have to sign off. Uh, next time we'll be back with some more films. What have we got? Anything exciting next Hurry up. Time? Hurry up, Ed. Boss Baby and Ghost in the Shell next week. So we'll be back with that and more chances to win free movie tickets. We'll see you next time. The Media Zone has been a Cable 2000 production.